All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're at Disneyland Paris. Whoa. This is the front entrance. This is the hotel to the Disneyland Paris side, not the Walt Disney Studios side. We'll be there later because Indiana Jones is a credit and it has like a five minute single right away. So we're starting here. And um, I don't know how this vlog is gonna go, but um, we're gonna be filming on right POV, so might as well film a vlog anyway. Usually, Usually Disney videos are so overpopulated they don't like get watched very much. But I'm I'm excited and I'm gonna try it out anyway. Just see where I get. I was gonna take a break from vlogging, but this is pretty cool. So I want to show this off a little bit. So this park has a construction wall. All right, when you get inside, that's you can't see over it really. So that's cool. Let's go see the castle though. This way. Or yeah. Yeah, no, that's the exit. Main Street, you're gonna say this way. <laughs> Arrow literally goes this way. Anyway, we're going in now. I'm excited. I really wanna see what this Disney park is like. I'll probably have to come back here another time at some point to actually really take it in as this is like a very big credit trip more than anything. Um, I would like to really enjoy this park at some point. Um, not that I won't enjoy it today, but uh, I'm going to enjoy it today, but I'm going to get credits mostly today, so. It's not absolutely slammed and hard walk. Thank hard goodness. To walk I mean, I love Disney. I love the idea of Disney, and I like the charm. But holy crap, I do not like the crowds. I don't even know how they're supposed to fix it. But man, every time this falls somewhere in between Disneyland and Disney World in terms of crowd levels. But I've only been to Disneyland once, and it was we just went on a rainy. really good day. Yeah, it was very rainy. There was no one there, so that might not be normal for that park. Anyway, we're gonna start riding some lines or rides with short lines. So I guess uh, Haunted Mansion, Phantom Manor, whatever it's called here, it looks pretty fun. Well, Phantom Manor literally just broke down, so uh, we didn't get in line for it. So we're just gonna go ride. Indiana Jones because it's a credit. Apparently, it's One not of so great. I guess you heard that that it wasn't very good. Indiana Jones. So we'll see. Hopefully, it's enjoyable. But uh, we need credits, so we're gonna go get the credit. So here we go. Uh, Indiana Jones at Lay Tibble of Peril or whatever. I don't speak French, but. Um, it's an Intamin, but it doesn't look like Good. the best kind of Intamin. Um, it sounds like it's It kind of sounds like it's just like dragging steel on steel. But.
the verdict on Indiana Jones is it's actually not that bad at all. Um, it wasn't really thrilling or anything. The loop was fun. Um, but what did you guys think? I know you guys thought it was just okay. It was just boring, yeah. that's all. The loop was pretty good, but yeah, the rest of it just kind of meanders. A little meanders. bit shuffly, kind of gave me a yeah. tiny bit of a headache, but it wasn't bad. I was uh, going in under the impression like this was like probably the worst it's been ever made, according to some. Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad. I did write it kind of defensively out of preparation that it actually was the case. Yeah, me too. I wrote it defensively as well, and I'm like, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just okay. It's just, yeah, but that wasn't bad. I mean, I was really expecting a bad ride, and it wasn't. So, so it's I guess a, that's a good thing. It's just like I give it about a four. Yeah. So Indiana Jones deserves a lot better than that. Yes, for sure. The Indiana Jones ride Disneyland, uh, Florida. Okay. Uh, that kind California. Of California, I'm blanking out. That ride is a lot better. Yeah, for sure. All right, we're here. Phantom Manor, aka Haunted Mansion of Disneyland Paris. I am excited. It's got a pretty short wait for here, so. This Omni Mover is saving us. Also, this house looks awesome. That was really, really good. Probably the best out of the three I've done. Okay. Although it's not fair for me to judge the uh, California ones since I had the Christmas overlay and that yeah. was black. But that, that was awesome. I love that one. I definitely, you can't come to this park and not ride Phantom Manor, that's for sure. Oh man, that was great. Wow. I know that like the OG Space Mountain buildings are like classic and really cool. But this just looks fantastic. I can't even lie, this looks amazing. I mean, the detail, the colors, everything is just so beautiful. I mean, that is such a great Space Mountain, like, decoration, basically. You oh, think yeah. that looks absolutely amazing? Like, Incredible. It looks awesome. Now, I still love the original two like the one at walt disney world and the one at disneyland obviously both of those are fantastic but this is so cool all hail we're in hyperspace mountain queue all hail all hail bennett you ready i guess are you ready yeah, i'm very ready all hail stairs that was really really good <laughs> I love the Star Wars part of that overlay. That was awesome. That was really good. Yeah, really fun. That was fantastic, though. I, I think that was really, really good. You got, you like to see Justin? Oh, yeah, that was really good. I love the overlay. Incredible. That was great. The music and the, the blasters. And then you see the Star Destroyer up there. Oh, yeah. It's very, very fun. I really like that one. Very good overlay. Loved it. Despite being to uh, the California and Florida Disney parks, I've never done star tours here. So we're gonna do it. I probably won't film on this, it's a motion simulator. Exactly. But oh my gosh, I am excited. All right, star tours was great, very fun. Almost like on par with some of the universal ones, which is not surprising because it's Disney. But yeah, that was really cool. We've been alternating other rides and coasters, but we need another credit here at Disneyland before we go to the other park. So we're gonna ride the Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah. Can't wait to wait forever for it. But hey, we've been on everything else pretty quickly, so we can wait for one. All right, finally we're riding Big Thunder Mountain. We'll see if this is the best one or if they're all just kind of the same.
how I expected in that big drop at the end. Yeah, I mean, neither, that, that, was, was, uh, that big drop, even though it wasn't was steep, it was a big buildup of speed. That's yeah. for sure. That probably was my favorite of the three. After a pretty long wait, we finally got to ride Big Thunder Mountain. Uh, it took like an hour instead of the posted 45, but it was good. Um, the other two Big Thunder Mountains, I'm not as impressed with as most people are, uh, but I really, really, really did like this one. Um, more than the other two, at least. I mean, I still think they're all kind of overrated, to be honest, but that's okay. They're just family mine trains at Disney. We need to go to the other Disney park now to get the other three coasters that we need. So we're gonna go over there now. Hopefully the lines aren't terrible. Avengers Flight Force is like five minutes, so that's good. But we might have to uh, buy Premier Access for uh, Crush's coaster, so we'll see. I really need to ride Tower of Terror too, so that's another priority I have. Well, this is where you walk in, the front entrance of Studios, Walt Disney Studios. Very cool entrance, I will say that. Let's see what it's like out here. On the outside. Very cool. I like it. It looks nice out here. I cannot wait to ride that. That is high on my list of what we need to ride. However, Credits, we need credits. So we're gonna go ride the Avengers ride. Here we go, we're at Avengers Campus. The superior superheroes. No one likes DC. All of their IP in the parks looks bad. We've got Avengers Campus. This looks phenomenal. Not gonna ride that, that's the web ride and it's got over an hour wait and it's, I've heard it's not worth it so. We're gonna do Rock and Roller Coaster, which is rethemed to Avengers. Oh yeah, look at this. Bienvenue, recruit. Je suis Friday, l'intelligence artificielle du complexe. Yes, sir. Soyez informés que nous sommes en alerte jaune. Veuillez vous rendre en salle de crise pour de plus amples informations. This is sick, dude. What a sick view. This is my first like actual full Avengers ride. Agreed. Time is crucial, sir. I believe these recruits will be more necessary than you think. But I continue searching for additional backup. On va avoir besoin des recrues et de toute l'aide disponible. Trouve-nous des renforts. Understood, sir. I'll continue looking for backup and the recruits. Okay, draining main for the next one. Oh, oh, oh! Energizing. Occupez toutes les places disponibles. On n'a plus beaucoup de temps. Analyse des panneaux escamotables. Recalibrage des sous-systèmes. Dude, we just got off Avengers uh, Flight Force. That was really good. The ride ran so well. Um, was super smooth. Uh, actually felt something on the launch, super intense, which was great. Super. So it's definitely the best out of the three models of. Uh, Vacoma made, so Rock and Roller Coaster Express Platform 13 and this, that's the best one. I wish there was more theming on the ride, but the theming all around it is badass. Um, and uh, yeah. First ride I actually enjoyed here today. Yeah, first ride, it was a lot of fun. Um, actually, I enjoyed more than him, but anyway. RC Racer's over here, so I guess we'll do that. We need to get all the credits and then Tower of Terror. All right, we're in the Toy Story area to get an RC racer over here. And this is just as cool as what they have in uh, Hollywood Studios in Florida. Look at this. We're gonna ride like basically a Hot Wheel track with RC, themed RC. This is gonna be so, so cool. I wanna ride this so bad. This is very exciting. Oh, Slinky. Slinky's a Himalaya. Slinky Dog's a Himalaya.
We showed RC Racer here, which was awesome and a lot of fun. Very fun ride, even though it's pretty short and only goes back and forth. For some reason, we were told we can't film on it. I don't know why. I've literally never heard that at a Disney park ever. Yeah. Total like, L. Every di everyone knows that every Disney park, people are allowed to film on basically anything. I don't understand. Disneyland, both parks, both parks in California, all four in Florida, and the other park today let so us do it, one. but not that ride. I don't understand. I wanted to get my reaction on that and the wrong ride of the of being on RC, but all right, whatever I guess. We have a time for Crush's coaster, so we're going over there. That one's indoor, so I'm probably not gonna try to film on that because it's probably gonna be dark anyway. So yeah, we had to get a uh, basically a lightning lane for that one because uh, Premier Access is what it's called here, but. The line was crazy ridiculous and we weren't going to wait in that, so let's get over there and ride it. Well, that ride was fun. We completed all the coasters here. It was uh, pretty standard for Mauer, Mauer Spinner. The Thiebing made it really good. It was a great ride uh, for what it is. Um, I just wouldn't have wanted to wait super long for that. We're all really hungry, so we're going to go get some food and then Tower of Terror as a finale. So we just sat down and got a pretty big meal here at Disney. We got smoked ham pizza, looks amazing. I already started eating the salad because I forgot I was gonna vlog this. We just got a poached egg and kind of like a chef salad. And then I had to get a tiramisu dessert. I know this is Italian in France, but Disney's always gonna have good stuff. Looks amazing, I can't wait to eat it. I've already tried the salad, it's really good. I'll let you know what I think of the pizza. They nailed the cheese on this pizza. They did, huh? As you can see, I just took a bite with the cheese and ham and lettuce on this, and oh my gosh, that is amazing. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna finish it right now. Unbelievable. This is the uh, Stark Factory here at Walt Disney Studios Paris. Come eat here. I highly recommend it for sure. After we ate, I'm ready for the moment I have been waiting for all day. <clears throat> Riding the Paris Tower of Terror. I've heard it is the best one and I am so very excited to ride it. Let's go. I absolutely love that theme. Far and away the best theme that they have on uh, the tower rides, inc including Guardians, but also um, uh, Tower of Terror and Walt Disney World Hollywood Studios. Yes. The theme is the best. I still think Walt uh, Hollywood Studios one has better airtime overall. Maybe a better ride cycle, but man, that theme is just so good. I'm not gonna. I I'm not gonna spoil theme. it. You can look it up online if you want to see what it is, or you can come ride it here and come visit and ride it. I recommend it. going in blind. Yeah, me too. Um, it was it was awesome. Absolutely love these rides. I can't get enough of them. And uh, yeah, it was great. So anyway, I forgot to do it when we arrived at the exit, but that's gonna do it today from Disneyland Paris and Walt Disney Studios Paris. It was a great freaking day here. We rode every coaster that is not under construction right now. Walt Disney World or Walt Disney Studios is adding a pretty big expansion that's gonna make that park amazing. But we have other things to do, AKA go see Paris, like downtown Paris. So that's what we're gonna do. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make you sure you leave a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.